Your boy's about to box, unbox another purchase from Edelman's today. All right, so here we go right here. Holla at your boy. I would do a YouTube live, but I can't do it because they'd be like, yo, dog, you for be in your car asleep, not doing videos. Holla? What? Huh? Go. Kuru. Here's <laughs> a Kuru coin. And I could read you what it says about the Kuru coin, but this phone has all the information. So if you want to check it out, this is a one ounce silver Kuru coin from New Zealand. And it has the queen's face all over it as usual, and a Kuru. That Kuru I did read means the god of the forest. God of the forest. And this is a proof coin, that's why it's so shiny. Y'all know I've told y'all about coins before. If it got a shiny background, it means a proof coin. Meaning as soon as this coin was minted, uh, it probably had the first mint, but it has New Zealand on the front. As soon as this coin was minted, they take it automatically, take it out, they put it in a capsule to make sure it doesn't get any fingerprints or anything on it. And then they put it in this lovely box. The presentation, as you can see. All right. And he's missing a couple things supposed to be in here. My card is supposed to be in here. Where's my card at, dog? He didn't get my card. I'm going to have to go back and get that. There was actually a card that said Kuru and everything. So I'm going to have to call him real quick because the card is not in there. It's part of the presentation. Had a card, Kuru, and to tell you about the coin. Only 2,000 of these coins were minted. Only 2,000. And as you all know, only buy low mintage coins. I don't want a coin anybody in their mama got. Just like my fragrances. I don't want a fragrance everybody and their mama got. So that's why I bought this because it was low mintage. That's an interesting coin. I had to make sure that crew didn't mean some old satanic crap though. It just said God of the forest, you know, in, in whatever, whoever, you know, kind of, you know. But a lo lovely mask. Beautiful, cool mask right there on that joint. Just gorgeous. There it is right there. I'm sure to somebody else. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I got to call a dude up and say, yo, man, say my joint. I'll come back and pick it up tomorrow. I need my card and everything, man, because you had the whole presentation. It'll tell you about the coin, tell you about the history behind the coin, how many was minute, all that stuff. That's why I buy this thing. And another coin I bought today was when I actually went to buy it. I ended up buying this as well because I got a great price on it. Somebody just bought one for $189. I didn't pay that much. Not even close. And they bought it on eBay last week. He looked it up. He was like, holy, you know what? I'm like, holy and hell go together? Y'all, y'all, y'all in this hell word. That's where you're going to end up at. You keep saying it. Go, go, that's where you're going to be because you keep saying it. Anyway, so it says Kuru and it has this joint. And the card is the same way, but the colored card is red. And it has Kuru on it. As you can see, the price for me was not $189, but a fair $79. I was trying to get it for $70. He was like, nah, dog, nah, that joint just sold last week for $189 on eBay. I'm like, yeah, I know, man. Give me the coin. You can't change the price now because you got $79 in the box. And, you know, I bought, I'm bought. i spending about ten grand with y'all in coins so far. You won't give me that price. Huh? What? Yes, you sure is. So. With that being said, we're going to put that back in there. I'm going to call them as I get off the phone through this video. Now, this other coin I have is a one ounce Troy silver coin, 999, of course. That one's also 999. In fact, that might be four nines. And this coin right here is called the American Hostages, Iran, November 4th, 1979. And the reason I bought this hostage coin was I was in boot camp September of 1979 right and on the back we have the ayatollah and i think the president at the time was just coming in no that's one of the prisoners that was that was um they showed on the paper like if you go back and look at the hostages this is kind of like an effigy on the coin of one of the one of the uh hostages that they had as you can see i was showing somebody else and also on the front you got that same might be a different hostage on the front so, September 28th of 1979, my behind told my dad, since he told me I wasn't coming to my house, coming to my house any other time you want. When I was getting out, when I got out of high school, he was like, 
Yeah. I mean, it was late. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning, hanging out with the boys. Man, we was drinking all night. You know, I'm 18. I'm hanging out. He's like, you ain't coming to my crib any old time you want. I'm like, really? September 28th, I was in Great Lakes, Chicago in boot camp. You ain't telling me what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I'm out. Later. I went in the Navy. I joined September 28th. And by the time we got out, what did I tell you? It said November 4th. It was 1979. So while I was in boot camp, they had grabbed these hostages. When I got out of boot camp, it was like, you go home, get yourself together, say bye to your little boot thing, and get you behind out to freaking uh, Lemoore, California. You're going to be on an aircraft carrier with a freaking yeah, air squadron, VA-146 Blue Diamonds, A-7E aircraft, and we're getting ready to get busy. We got out there, yeah, it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun. You're supposed to sit for a while. They was like, no, don't even unpack your bags. You can ready to go to San Diego and fly it and get on that ship. For what? Bam. The Iran hostage crisis. That's why this coin meant a lot to me. And they've been selling this for a while. And I said, I'm finally going to get it just to commemorate the time that I spent on this. So while we were out there, at one point we had to go after we went to the, the customary, when you go on a cruise customary, and you stop in Hawaii for three days. Then you go to the Philippines to load up a food and all that stuff. You stop there for six days. And then after that, we supposed to stop someplace else. They was like, nope, straight to the Indian Ocean. If you look at the Indian Ocean on the map, you'll see Iran is not too far from the Indian Ocean. And that's where we do our duty at. We was in the Indian Ocean for 110 days straight. No freaking land. Three months. At that time, that was a record. No land. 110 days straight. And that's all I got to say. We no chicks. It's like being in jail. 110 days straight. And we got a meritorious advancement medal. I got to get my medals for being out there. Meritorious advance, meritorious service and whatsoever for being out in the ocean for 110 days. Why were we out there? Because of this coin right here. The hostage crisis. So we did 110 days and we had the record. But then the, JF, the Kennedy came out, the aircraft carrier, JF Kennedy came out and broke our record. They did 130 days out there. And what we did was I was just telling them when I bought this coin. Every time they set the airplane up, or a jet airplane, every time they set a jet up and they set them up with their bombs, they load their bombs up on the wings, they be putting F to Ayatollah, F to Ayatollah, F I ran. I'm like, yo, let me put my name on that joint, dog, let me put my name on that joint. And, yo, and it was cool because we know they ain't had nothing to send to blow up the aircraft carrier and they ain't no freaking missiles that's going to reach out to the Indian Ocean. So we was talking crap. Yeah, dog, yo, yo, tell the pilot, see you, sir. Drop one of them joints with my name on there, dog. Yeah. And that's what we did. So we was in the ocean for 110 days during the Iran crisis. So your boys out there serving the Navy and serving you in 1979. I think we, we got there um, We got there in December. And I think we stayed there. We didn't come back home until like maybe June. Because usually your cruises are six months. And we, I think we got home around June. But, yeah, that's the reason I was out in the Indian Ocean. As soon as I got out of boot camp, I had to go to this Iran crisis thing out in the freaking Indian Ocean. All right? So that's the story behind this coin. The story behind that coin is there's more to it, but that is a depiction of the god of the forest or some stuff. I don't care. I just knew it was a low mintage coin, and I wanted to have it. It was a nice coin. Put it in collection. That's it. Talk to y'all later. The fragrance I'm wearing today, y'all already know from my video this morning, and I'll tell you again, Frederick Malls Musk Ravageur. Sounds like my name, Musk Ravageur. Ravageur. <laughs> and I'm out. Talk to y'all later. I will say say bye to her. Say bye to her. Say bye, Judy. And my birthday was yesterday. For anybody, think anybody need to celebrate her birthday. Nobody care about her birthday. Bye, girl. <laughs>